Get your news from Japan while you still can. The Japanese Prime Minister has pushed a new secrecy bill through the lower court in Japan, and this bill is expected to be approved by the higher court later this week. This secrecy bill gives Japan the ability to block all medias and whistleblowers from reporting on any topic that the Japanese government deems to be a state secret. Violators of this new law will be imprisoned. Private citizens or officials can expect a 10 year sentence, and any journalist seeking the sensitive or embarrassing information that has been classified secret will get up to five years in prison. The leader of the main opposition party in Japan is opposing the new law, saying, quote, I can say with certainty now that the bill is created by bureaucrats for the bureaucrats to hide information. Other politicians opposing the new law are saying there are few specifics in the law, which means it can be used to hide whatever the government wishes to keep away from public scrutiny. The bill has a vague definition of what constitutes a state secret, potentially giving officials elite power to block the release of information on a vast range of subjects, including measures to counterbalance China's growing military influence in the region and the safety of the country's nuclear reactors. In its current form, the Prime Minister can decide by himself what constitutes a secret. The law would apply to four areas defense, diplomacy, counterterrorism, and counterespionage, and gives officials the power to keep sensitive information out of the public domain indefinitely. Japanese journalists, lawyers, politicians, academics, scientists, film directors, and artists held public demonstrations after the bill passed the lower house to express their opposition and concern about freedom of expression. Critics of the new laws say it marks a return to the days of pre-war and wartime Japanese militarism when the state used the Peace Preservation Act to arrest and imprison political opponents. An editorial writer for the Tokyo Shimbun newspaper said it's a threat to democracy and it will have a chilling effect on public servants who could become wary about giving information to journalists. Senior politicians state that the law will not be used to gag the press or restrict the public's right to knowledge. However, the Justice Minister refused to rule out police raids of newspapers suspected of breaking the law. The State Minister in charge of the bill said the law could be applied to Japan's nuclear power industry because it is a potential target for terrorists. The Prime Minister will appoint a committee to oversee possible violators. The committee will be comprised of senior officials from the Foreign and Defense Ministries and the National Police Agency. So what prompted the creation of this new law and how will it get approval in spite of the massive opposition in Shinzo Abe's falling popularity? Here's the pitch. In the aftermath of the Edward Snowden leaks, Japan has come under pressure from Washington to better protect state secrets, including intelligence shared by the U.S. at a time of rising regional tensions with China and concern over North Korea's nuclear weapons program. Also, and mainly, this secrecy law is crucial for Japan's new U.S.-style National Security Council, which formed last week, to function properly. This sounds like Big Brother on steroids to me. What do we call Japanese FEMA? Well, Japan, brace yourselves for an end to democracy and get ready to say hello to your no rights anymore style government. And another feather goes into the hat of the no longer secret one world order agenda.